Hello everyone, welcome to Summer Term Elections 2013. Um, I am your host, Rachel Harvey, with Joe O'Neill. Hello. Okay, first off, we're going to have um, the hosts from the management school faculty reps. Can I remind all candidates that once they're finished giving their host and answering questions, to go to the pool room at the back behind the bar for interviews and questions with Bail Rig FM. Um, can I also remind you all that you will be on telly and not to swear, etc. Okay, so the way it's going to work, we're going to have three minutes for hosts. We're then going to let you have one minute for responses to questions. We'll remind you when you have 30 seconds left and then again when you have 10 seconds left. So can I have Colin Mang and Shri Kanzel for Management School Faculty Reps, please. Take a seat, guys. <laughs> okay. So, Colin, can you go up to the stand and give your host first, please? Yep. Sure. Okay. Colin, you have three minutes when you're ready. Hi, so my name's Colin Mang. Many of you know me as Colin the Canadian guy. I'm running for the management school rep position on Lusu Academic Council because I want to represent undergraduates, postgraduates, and international students, all of you. Um, I want to work with both your undergraduate and your postgraduate department reps to improve your alums' experience. One of the things that I would do as your rep is I would try to establish a mentoring program where we take upper year students and postgraduates and help them to mentor younger students, your freshers coming in show them what LUMS is all about, uh, give them help with their coursework, and improve their academic experience. This would allow us to leverage the leadership experience of our upper year students in management. I would hold regular office hours so that you could come to me. If you had any kind of questions, if you had any kind of problems with your course, if you had any kind of questions about your module, problems with your module, if you didn't know where to go, I would hold regular office hours in LUMS every week so you can come talk to me. I would also continue the campaign to establish a code of practice for assessment and module feedback. That's something that's been going on with Academic Council this year. Uh, so I would keep that up and try to get you uh, consistent feedback on all your assessments and module work. Finally, I would also lobby to have faculty reps reinstated to Lusu Council. That's something that many of you may not know, uh, but in the past, faculty reps were part of Lusu Council, I would push to have them placed back on Lusu Council. So remember, accessibility, approachability, and accountability. Those are my three qualities. I want you to tell me if you have any kind of questions, if you have any kind of problems, I will represent you on Academic Council. Thank you. Vote Colin for Council. When you're ready. Hi, I'm Sri, and I'm running for your management school representative. Uh, I'm currently a first year management science major, and I'm also a representative for the course. Uh, as I'm also the president for Management Science Society, so, and for this last year, I've realized that representing the student opinion is very important. And if elected, I would hope to work closely with the department reps and encourage them to voice their opinions and make sure they're heard, while also having a say on how our university experience goes. There are a few things I would like to work towards if I were to be elected. That is, improving the coherence and support between societies, the departmental, uh, departments within LUMS, and the student association of uh, management school, so that the student experience is best improved. Um, I'll also try and have more frequent and effective faculty forums so that solving student issues may become easier and much more faster. Um, 
I'll also hold meeting hours in management school every week so that anyone who has problems with undergraduate or issues in postgraduate courses may come to me and I would direct them towards the appropriate bodies. Um, I'll also try to integrate LUMS further into other faculties through events such as business days. Um, we had our students coming in and so I, w I think that would help us out more as a whole university. And another thing I would like to work toward uh, is start an annual journal to promote student ideas and that would help us develop as a university as well. So the interests of LUMS students are my priority and if elected I would work towards these views. So remember, I'm here to present your opinion and help you solve any problems you might have. So a vote for she is a vote for you. Thank you. Do we have any questions from the floor? Liz um, and Colin, can you answer this first? You have one minute for a response. Sure. Um, um, it's just, um, Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you've just touched uh, one of you on the fact um, that there are actually a number of societies um, within LUMS. Um, I think those academic-based societies could be used a lot more than they currently are. How do you think you could work with these groups to kind of get the best out of what the management school has to offer? Okay, well, in terms of the academic-based societies, uh, what we could do is we could establish um, basically a council of academic societies. Uh, we could do that in LUMS. I, I could also encourage the other faculty representatives to do the same thing, to bring all of these students together and see if there are any you know, sort of cross-faculty campaigns that we can run, any kind of cross-faculty activities uh, that we can promote. I think there already exists a student body which helps these academic societies um, get a better, ha have better events and approach to our students. It's called the uh, Lancaster University Management School Association. It, uh, it has a certain criteria right now for admission for any new academic societies. And hopefully I'll try and work with other societies which are not in the student association as of yet to help them cater to more students and develop them further and have cross societies events. Thank you. Any more questions? Um, Charlie and Shri, can you answer this one first, please? Hi, guys. Um, the management school recently triple accredited and all that, and they're very good at say, saying how good they are. Um, but what I'd like to know is, what would you say is the one biggest problem with the management school at the moment, and how do you anticipate to get that problem across to management? Well, I think the biggest problem with management school right now is integrating with other faculties, as of say, so that. Uh, they can deliver their facilities to other students as well. So what we might try and do is promote programs in other schools, such as, say, executive programs. We have those running in the management school. I'll try and work towards have them cater to as uh, optional day workshops. And it already runs, but then I'll try and promote it more so that it helps other faculties as well. Okay, I don't really know where to start. Uh, there's a number of issues that could be identified with the management school, including uh, living wages for postgrads, uh, integration between international students and domestic students, uh, both at the undergraduate and the postgraduate level, um, and also, you know, just general events that have to go on in the management school. Uh, do you want to do something? in the management school. How are you going to book space? Uh, do we need more you know, active societies going on? Uh, 
So for all of those, uh, I mean, these are all issues that I would raise uh, with LUMS management. I would take your suggestions, work with all of you, and see what we can do to start solving some of these issues. Thank you. Um, questions? I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, hi. Yeah, um, you said you wanted to bring Colin. You said you wanted to bring um, faculty reps back into the student council, loose council. Um, firstly, what advantages do you see to doing that? And also, does this mean we're going to have every single faculty rep for every single department on council? Because then it's going to become very big and very bloated. Do you not think? Isn't that what student councils are for? Sorry, is that question just for Colin? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. You know, my idea is just for the faculty reps, so it wouldn't be for all of the department reps, it would just be for your four faculty reps. Uh, basically, I would like to see that because I would like to see extra voices for you as students. I mean, right now you have your JCR reps on the council, but they represent the JCRs. They don't necessarily represent individual students. Um, you have your LUSU counselors who will represent individual students, but if you have a faculty rep, you also have someone who's specific to your academic course, who if you have an academic issue, they can raise it in council for you. So that's why I would like to see the four faculty reps brought back on a council. Thank you. Um, Carrie? Hiya. Um, so as current faculty rep for LUMS, um, I was wondering whether you did much research in the work that's been done this, this year and whether you knew about the new structure for student engagement that we're working with with LUMS. -er. Well, um, I've been in touch with James, the new um, head for Lamza, and they've been, they've only met twice as of now, but then uh, I've had a little talk with them, and then we work more towards engaging new societies rather than just having the big six societies, which are currently in LUMS. So hopefully they'll integrate us more with the student experience. But then I also had a few suggestions catering to like how we market our school and then um, hopefully I'll work to work, if elected I'll work with more uh, department reps and try to get it more up to speed and more in opinions of the students rather than just faculty agenda. Um, Colin? Yeah. I think I did mention that in my HUST. Um, that you know, student engagement is one of the ongoing issues as well as the uh, module feedback. So um, I would continue both of those campaigns as we're going forward, uh, if selected to academic council. Um, I would also you know, try to hold the faculty-wide meetings and try to get as many students out there as possible. I also mentioned about having the office hours for folks to come and talk to me to promote engagement. And I would use that as a forum to continue to promote student engagement within LUMS. Okay, any more questions from the floor? Okay, Ollie Heron tweeted a question, but it's pretty much the same question that Carrie just asked. Um, any more questions? No. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, so next we have the faculty rep for um, science. Can we have Yash Toda to the Stand, please. Yash, are you here? Definitely didn't send a bust in. Okay, we'll have the faculty reps for health and medicine next. Can we have Jordan up, please? Three minutes when you're ready. Okay. Hi, I'm Jordan Tudor. I'm the current faculty rep for health and medicine and I'm up for re-election. I've got quite good experience in the medical spectra. I'm, I've, I'm employed as a phlebotomist, so I get to apply the stuff that I use in the BLS labs to actual real-life work. I have shadowed in oncology, ophthalmology clinics, I've volunteered in dementia homes, so I've got quite good experience in curative and palliative care. Um, but as rep, I've already done some stuff on that I'll talk about later, but when talking to the reps, they often seem like they are kind of overlooked and underused. 
and that is one of the main issues that I'm going to address if re-elected. Um, I also aim to uh, have a look at the tutorial system. Many different departments do offer a tutorial system, but the tutors are often not really in contact with their students, and within our own department, people often complain and don't really use the tutor system, even though it's there, and the tutors often make quite a big effort to uh, engage with their students. And so I'm going to try and promote it a bit more, see, uh, try and almost from like a mini campaign just to show the students what they can actually get from their, uh, from their from attending their tutor meetings. I'd also like to continue my work with the VP Academic in evolving the role of the faculty rep, such as faculty forums, as when I was first elected, the, um, what was it, the, the, there was only one real part of the faculty, the Department for Biological and Life Sciences, that engaged in faculty forums, and they were the only ones that really had reps. Since I've come to the role, I've, um, I've got the, I've got CTAD involved, I've, I've got medicine involved, and I've got plans to bring health and research into it. So I'm trying to get a more kind of cohesive representation of the faculty instead of just BLS uh, overruling everything, basically. But I'd also like to engage, change it to more of a one-on-one, -on -one, um, more of like an interview with each of the reps instead of a big forum, because it's often hard for people to attend, so it's more convenient and I can get more of a, uh, a good repertoire going with each rep. Um, I'd also like to bring, uh, I'd like to alter the, I like get a bit of a, the, we have careers fairs, but I'd like to give students options to email people in the careers that are, they are interested in through like, um, through people who have gone on from our faculty to that position. I mean, the university can get MI5 to come to the careers fairs, but they can't get stuff like GlaxoSmithKline. So, yeah, I'd just like to do that. And that's basically it anyway. So, thanks. Should I just stay here? Okay, do we have any questions for Jordan? Joel? Just checking, can everyone at the back here? Yep, good. Uh, hi, um, seeing as though we asked the LUMS faculty reps what they thought, what do you think about uh, faculty reps sitting on Lucy Council? Yeah. Uh, I think that they should be brought back to the Lucy Council. I mean, I was going to go for. Um, a council position in order to get on the council myself. It gives a more, it gives the faculty reps more of a better representation of what's going on in the um, in both parts of Lusu. So I think it's kind of owed to their um, to their constituents that they know that. Thank you. Um, any more questions, Liz? Hiya. Um, I, coming from um, a biological background myself, I just wanted to ask your opinion and, and kind of what you've, um, any feedback that you've got from students at the moment about um, the fact that um, I know with the sciences a lot of the time they get people in from hospitals and stuff like that. Um, what's the feedback been with getting those kind of people in and do you think it's worth following down that route? I think it is worth following down that route but it's almost like they need to be kind of vetted beforehand. The, a lot of the time the people who come in, they're not really experienced in lectures, but, well, 50% of the time, they do deliver really great lectures, and the information they bring is great. Other times, they can be a bit unengaging, and we had one who basically quizzed us. He just went around the room quizzing us on stuff that we didn't know, and it was kind of a bit austere. But I think we should kind of continue more down that route, but it is it, not to kind of overwhelm actual stuff taught by the... Thank you. Any more questions? Caroline? 
Hi, um, as one of your main roles for faculty rep, you have to chair faculty forums, and as you've already done the position, you'd have done it before. So hopefully you'll realise kind of the big problems we've had with getting reps down to them, making them more engaging, more appealing for people to j come and join in with. Um, so my question is, what are you going to do to improve these faculty forums, and how are you going to change them? I'm going to, um, my main plan is to make them more one-on-one, -on -one, so you can get like a kind of like a working relationship with the, with the reps. That's my main thing that I'm going to go down that route. But I just, I, I like, well, listen, with the VP Academic, aren't we also kind of trying to improve the role of faculty rep as well? If, we, if that can come with it, I think you can get more of a response showing the department reps that we can have an effect as well. Thank you. Are there any more questions? Um, we've had none from Twitter, so thank you very much. Um, next up, can we have Theo and Joshua for Faculty Reps for Arts and Social Science, please? Just a reminder, once you've finished giving your host and answering questions, head towards the pool room at the back. Thank you. Um, Josh first, please. Three minutes when you're ready, Josh. Uh, the, the day that the music degree scheme was cancelled, I was sat on the uh, student staff committee for LICA. And the closure of the degree wasn't mentioned it wasn't until a week later that I heard about it from a lecturer. Uh, that's appalling. The university is being increasingly run like a business, and this is at the expense of the students. Uh, the new fast rep needs to be on the lookout for signs that a degree scheme is in trouble. They need to be able to ask the faculty outright if there's a concern and take appropriate action. I'm prepared to do that. Um, one way to increase sort of awareness within the faculty is to work closely with the department reps. There are, there are over 100 in FAST, so that's a lot of students prepared to represent their peers. Uh, department reps, as far as I'm concerned, are some of the unsung heroes of the union. I really want to help them clarify their role, and tell them what a FAST forum is, keep in regular communication with them. I want to encourage them to speak out at their department meetings and remind them how important their role is. Uh, by increasing that communication, it'll be a lot easier to identify the concerns within the faculty. The FAST forum needs to be better attended. Uh, one way to do that is to develop some of the relationships with the societies that relate to a FAST degree scheme, for example, Law Society or the History Society. Uh, they're filled with huge groups of students who obviously care about their topics, so it'd be great to hear their views and they need to be made to feel more than welcome at the FAST Forum. Now, I could spend the rest of this time talking about what should be changed within the faculty, but I'm standing to represent the students of FAST and that's what's important. Uh, in order to keep the students' interest as my priority, there needs to be increased consultation with students. Consultation is a bit of a horrible word, but by consultation I mean that I'm going to speak to students. I'm going to find out what they like, what they don't like. I'm going to ask department reps to speak to students to find out what they like and don't like. I'm also going to encourage academic departments to consult with students. It's shocking that modules are being altered, new degrees are being introduced, and in some cases degrees are getting cancelled, and many students are unaware of these changes. I'm confident I could do a good job at this. Thank you. Um, my name is Theo. Uh, I have been part of this university for the best part of a year now, and I realise that the student rep position is an important one. Why? Because only student feedback can make our university better, improving facilities and departments to what our students esteem to. Work still needs to be done. Our league table is not showing a complete satisfied student body. That's an we need to improve that. But how to make it better? I intend to encourage a, student, a standard among all departments to be reached, as I found from studying under two different departments, that level of teaching is not uniform, which needs to be corrected, as students need to have the same level of teaching and resources in all modules that they are taught. This is what they ask for when they come to this prestigious university. Secondly, there has been crisis in FAST in the past year, with a new music degree being dropped, which is unfortunately not a one-off for the university, where financial stability is the cornerstone it relies on to making decisions. This is leading to further issues where falling application numbers in some areas of the faculty that need, um, that need addressing, where courses are being threatened. For instance, 
the decision from the history department to raise it to entry level has seen a 50% drop in applications, putting the department at risk, while courses like religious studies are varying towards the single-digit numbers of applicants. These issues need real student feedback, which I think I can offer to avoid any further crisis, which I hope to hold in student forums. My experience as politics rep part one has led me to think that things can be done. With the discontentment in my student body I, I represented about future module choice, I brought this issue to my department. The survey I conducted allowed them to see what students really wanted in the future, what modules they wanted, and what further recommendations were needed, such as more accessible readings, better seminar structures, and having lecture recordings on Moodle. I hope you've seen I can bring enthusiasm and energy to the faculty that students need. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions from the floor? Caroline Arnold. Hello. Um, you've both spoken about how you're going to work with the faculty, and you have a pretty good understanding of how things are working. But as part of the role, you're also going to sit on academic council. And I was wondering what kind of ideas you have, and what campaigns you want to run, and things within kind of the Lucy side of the role. Thea, can you answer that first, please? Sure. Um, I mean, for me, um, uh, Lucy has been a bit like I feel like in terms of the Lucy, we, we uh, as students, we know very little of what goes on within the mechani mechanics of the, the uh, meetings. I mean, I know there's been a meeting. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, hadn't been attended one, but it's hard to get information um, to know what actually goes on. What's the problems? What are the issues? I think one. So for me, the main issue is communication. You know, there needs to be better communication through student media, um, through SCAN, through, uh, through the bail rig, to actually tell up the students what is going on in these meetings, why it's been decided. You know, maybe a little report at the end of the newspaper, just to give a summary. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know if I have any sort of set ideas as what I'd say at uh, Academic Council or, or whatever it, it might be called in the future. But it's, uh, so it, it's going to going to depend on, I guess, what's important to the students as to what's brought up at that meeting. Um, so I don't, I don't want to have a preset agenda. And it's sort of that, I think that's a really important point not to be, I recognise the importance of the union um, and, and all these councils exist for a good cause, but it's important not to be sidetracked by it. You know, this is a, the FAS rep role, not the union role, so. Thank you. Any more questions? Becky Cook. Hey, um, you say that the FAST forums aren't very, well re um, aren't very well attended, sorry, but the actual societies are well attended. Do you think then that there's still a need for the forums? Like, where do you see the forum structure going in the future? Um, Josh, can you ask that first? Yeah, um, that, you do, there's only one way we're going to figure that out, and that's by, by trying it, I guess. If, if Fast Forums is still sort of this time next year, or maybe, maybe less than that, not working out, then maybe we do need to review it. But I guess my point was that those societies need to be made more than welcome at the Fast Forums. For, for them, I think that'll be a, that'll be a really good thing. So. Um, I mean, as department rep, first year, you know, a lot of us can't be asked. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, and you, you have to expect that, especially if you're going to be elected as faculty rep. Um, that a lot of first-year department reps don't just want a CV or just want to do their little bit. Um, I think to make it easier, just um, organise meetings where you have forums, where you have um, in a social environment. I mean, that makes it easier. You know, in bars, county bars, a lot of people have meetings there and just chilled out. People can just dish out some ideas, come in and out. Um, I mean, it sounds a bit informal, but that's what it is. You know, you just want to be people to feel to relax and tell what's on their mind. Thank you. Any more questions? We have a question from Twitter. This question is from Lucy Ryan on Twitter. This is for both candidates. If you'd been fast rep this year, just gone, what would you have done differently to fight the closure of music? Yeah, um, firstly, I would have found out from the... Um, I would try to advertise it from the beginning. You know, if there was an issue within FAST at the beginning and I knew about it and, and, and there was an issue, um, I'd, I'd definitely publicise it from day one, September, October, 
where the issue started on. I think the biggest problem was that um, the issue was known too late and nothing could be done by that point. The decision was made and that was that. Okay, Josh. Uh, I guess if, if, if it was elected, it is, there's this um, idea that communication needs to start earlier and someone needs to be, to be asking those questions. And maybe, maybe if, if that was the stance sort of taken this year, then we would have found out a lot earlier about the music closure. You know, I don't, there was a bit of an issue, I think, with, with the handling of that. I, I had to deal with a lot of petrified students and staff members thinking their degree was going to get cancelled. So with actual how I'd handle that, I don't know if, if emailing students saying, is your degree next, was the best room. Thank you. Any more questions? Liz? Thank you. Um, obviously, you've touched on a number of the facts and figures today about um, the numbers of, of dropping, dropping students and applications in certain degrees. Um, what have you done thus far um, to raise awareness of this while you've been at uni? Josh, first, please. Um, I, I held a sign and had a picture that said I support saving the arts at Lancaster. Um, other than that, I guess there's, you need to be, as far as I'm concerned, sa saving sort of arts degrees is a proactive thing. There's some great societies, the uh, Theatre Group, Ulms, etc., that really work proactively and they're a real great sort of showcase of, of some of the talent, particularly in, in the arts degrees. So I guess I've, I've been involved with them trying to sort of proactively save the arts. Um, I mean, on my part, we don't, we're not big characters ourselves, we don't have a huge voice in terms of positions. So, uh, from my part, I just tried to, you know, in my house, a lot of people didn't know what was going on. So I just tried to explain to the people I knew what was going on, you know, what were the issues, and I actually attended a meeting and not a lot of people knew what was go you know, what the meeting was about. Um, and, you know, to, to make sure that what was going on, uh, I, 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 when I was departmental meetings, no, I always, always voice my opinion, saying, why is this falling? You know, what's going to happen in the future? What, what does the department envisage is going to happen in the future, and how does it solve it? Thank you. Any more questions? No, thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Next, can we have um, candidates for student trustee with Michael and Martina. Jess and Erica are not in the country, but we do have hosts from them. <laughs> Apparently we don't have Martina either, um, so Michael, three minutes when you're ready. Hi guys, I'm Michael Palmer, a second year biomedicine student. I'm running to be re-elected as one of your student trustees for another year. This year we've discussed and finalised the move to Lusu, Bull, of Lusu to Bull and West Wing. I've helped to improve the promotion of trustees as many students don't actually know what we do. I've been involved in the recruitment process of the new CEO and I'll personally be sitting on the interview panel in a few weeks. I've been an active member of the board, attending every meeting including trustee training and networking session which is a new addition this year. My election as one of your delegates to the NUS conference helped me, helped me further my knowledge and experience of, of other unions and national issues, providing me with another useful as, as, uh, perspective and insight into what I want to do, into which I want to continue and bring to the board. A trustee must be impartial, punctual and confident to hold FTOs to account. This year I've challenged decisions and suggested improvements. I have also taken forward student issues such as the evaluation of the Sugar House card for discussion and have regularly contributed to each meeting in a new section of the agenda for feedback of student trustees. I would like to make student trustees easier to contact using joint email accounts and great use of social media. We've also started to piece together a promotional video about what we, what we do and hope that I can launch this with my fellow student trustees in intro week if I'm successfully elected. I would like to piece together an end of year report with the chair and other trustees to go, to, go out to the students and other officers uh, to aid communication. There are many big issues approaching. With a new chief executive, we must ensure that, that they settle in well and that we then support them to move the union forward. With a bleak national outlook on economy, it is important that we ensure our commercial services are of good quality and what students actually want, meaning we ensure purple card offers are good, that our lucid living tenants feel comfortable and safe, and the sugar house continually improves. Our strategy is also coming to an end of its lifetime. When officers revise the plan, but the board must ensure that we have relevant operating plans in place to ensure that the whole organisation has targets to aim for in order to move us closer to our strategic goals. 
The Union is also revising its constitution. We must ensure that everything remains leg legally compliant and watertight, as well as ensuring that any new structures truly place students at the heart of the system. There are many challenges ahead of the trustee board in the next year, and I feel I am confident and would be a strong addition to the team if you were to re-elect me for another year. So if you want to vote for consistency in our union's financial and operating decisions, if you want to vote for passion and persistence in our union, if you want to vote for someone who isn't afraid to hold our officers to account, and if you want to vote for continuity, continuity and stabi stability in this exciting period of change, then please vote Michael Palmer, number one, student trustee. Thanks. Um, Joe will be reading out Jess as host and then Eric as host, and then we will have questions. Jess, three minutes when you're ready. Hi, my name is Jess French, and I'm running for student trustee. I'm a third year studying French and maths, and I'm currently finishing off my year abroad, which is why I can't be here. I'm not too sure which country I'll be in when Hustings is on, but sadly it won't be England. During my first two years at Lancaster, I held various CCO and JCR positions, including Cartmore Gensec and CCO Communications, giving me a wide range of experience. I loved every minute of it, and I'd like to continue that in my final year at Lancaster as a student trustee, a slightly less involved but no less important position. The trustee board really benefits from student involvement and a student voice, which I can easily provide. My experience in meetings from the first two years means I'm not afraid to question judgment and hold officers to account when I think something's not right, which for me is of vital importance to this role. I'm going to end this now, while you're still listening, unless the drinking game is going on, sad to be missing it, and hopefully you will consider me for student trustee. Thank you, Jess. And Erica, three minutes when you're ready. Could have given me a clap. <laughs> and now I'm Erica Lewis. Thank you for considering my nomination for the Lusu Trustee Board. A board has four key roles. To establish the strategic vision, to set limits for the CEO, monitor operations, and decide how the board will operate. Over a decade of service on a variety of charity boards has given me the opportunity to develop skills in each of these areas, and I would like to contribute my expertise to Lucy. Strategic planning will be a focus of next year's board. I have led and contributed to several st successful strategic planning processes, allowing organizations to establish new services and reinvigorate existing ones. Key aspects of the monitoring processes of the board are legal compliance and financial monitoring. I spent three years as treasurer of an organization of a similar size to Lucy, and I hold a law degree. Finally, I believe student engagement is central to educational quality. Having been a member of the post-grad board and Lucy Council for the last year, I'm committed to ensuring students are included in the strategic planning process. If elected, I will work to ensure that the trustee board establishes the conditions for Lusu Council and the diversity of Lusu services to succeed. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions for Michael? Um, none from Twitter, so thank you very much, cool. Michael. Thanks, guys. Okay, uh, we're going to take a very quick five minute break and then we will go on with um, Lusu councillors and university council rep. Back in five minutes, people. Okay, everyone, Yash has arrived to give his host for science, um, Faculty Representative of Science Technology. So, Yash, um, you have three minutes um, and then a 30 second warning and then a 10 second warning. So, three minutes when you're ready. Hello people, good morning, my name is Yash and I'm here to uh, ask you all from, to vote for me. Is that hello? Yes. Um, basically, I want this position uh, for um, science and technology representative group because I'm interested in science. I'm, I'm a course representative in a part of computer science and uh, my aim is basically to address all the problems um, take suggestions from students regarding their uh, teaching, like how uh, the lecturers are teaching them, how they're finding their courses, and then make improvements to um, let the students have a better experience in learning as well as enjoy the course. Um, I would like to open a forum where um, most of the societies and um, 
groups related with science and technology can come together, organize events, uh, speak, speak up if, if anything's going good or bad, and then uh, take up new ideas and represent them to the university with the view that we could improve our uh, university's rankings as well as take, take student ideas and, and promote them all, all over the country. Um, one more thing about science and technology in Lancaster is like we really have good facilities provided for students for engineering, physics, chemistry, so many of them. And um, it's, it's very important to understand the students if they, they are getting what they want to study. Say if, if I'm studying computer science and it's really important for me to understand my course and to learn what I want, not instead like if I have a lecturer who's, who's not teaching good and uh, if I don't speak up. So yeah, that's, that's my aim to basically understand students' problem, come up with solutions and uh, promote new ideas. Thank you. Thank you. You can take a seat if you want. You can that. Do we have any questions? Any from Twitter? Nope. Okay, thank you very much.